Journey to the Central Sun. October 3, 2014. This message was received sometime in 1997. I, Ilya M, resonate to the 8th through 10th dimension. In order for you to perceive me, I lovingly lower my essence to the highest vibration that you can consciously access at this moment in your Earth time. As you integrate more and more of your fifth dimensional selves, you will be able to consciously communicate with beings from higher and higher dimensions. Join me now, and I shall take you to communicate with yourself that resides in the Great Central Sun. Fall into me now, dear one, while we journey to the Great Central Sun. Feel yourself completely encircled by your fifth dimensional vibration so that you can make this journey while also maintaining your Earth consciousness. You are about to activate your personal Merkaba. This Merkaba has been waiting for you your entire incarnation, during which you have felt its presence. Unfortunately, the negativity of the third dimension may have caused you to interpret that presence as loneliness and depression instead of hope and reunion. You have wished to return home, but you have not known where, or even what, home was. However, now you are able to recognize the call to home as a beacon, a homing beam, to allow you to reawaken and remember who you are. Your Merkaba is the portion of you that remained awake, even though the rest of you slumbered. Now my dear, see your personal Merkaba before you. It is two tetrahedrons connected by the two overlapping bases. The point of masculine polarity is the top tetrahedron, which faces toward the great central sun. The point of feminine polarity is the bottom tetrahedron, which faces toward dear lady Gaia, the earth. As you feel your fifth dimensional self around you, you can see and feel my essence guiding you towards your Merkaba, which is violet, pink and blue. As you come to your Merkaba, you find that it has been inside of you all along, for it is a portion of you and you are a portion of it. You do not need a doorway because you enter this Merkaba from the center of your being. As you move through the Merkaba to find its center, you feel yourself enshrouded by a beautiful aquamarine color that soothes you and allows you to remember every incarnation you have lived on the third dimension. From within your Merkaba, you can merge with all the fragments of your total self. Feel the lesson that each life has brought you and take a moment to heal them with your love force. As you travel through your total Earth family of self, embrace each one. Send a wave of unconditional love and unconditional forgiveness to each and every one of the incarnations that you have, and will have, on beloved Terra. Imagine all your third dimensional realities around you. Within each of these realities, you are responsible for a certain area of Lady Gaia's Earth. In every incarnation, you volunteered to love a certain portion of the Great Mother unto her pure state. This process is similar to being responsible for a portion of a road, or a garden besides a road. From within your Merkaba you can see that there are many markers indicating how your higher dimensional work has become grounded on the earth. You may also be aware of realities in which you were unable to remember, and carry out, your commitment to the planet. Take a moment to unconditionally love those realities, and the you that you were in that time-space. It is time for your Merkaba to take off now. Experience the sense of acceleration at the exact moment that there is also complete stillness. Feel how your other lives are now within you, as you share the thrill of this journey with them. Be aware of how these other portions of you, and of the mother, are joyous about their return journey. You are first raising your vibration beyond that of time and space. You are becoming a fifth dimensional light body. However, you are a hybrid, part human and part spirit. Stay in conscious connection with your physical self to ground your journey in the physical. You are sitting in the center of your Merkaba understanding how all your other third dimensional realities are now within you. Feel the oneness. The Merkaba appears to be empty except for yourself but you can feel the consciousness of all that is within you, over you, around you, and through you. Take a long, slow breath. Do you feel how you breathe differently within your Merkaba? This breathing is different because you are no longer breathing oxygen. You are breathing light. At first you breathe lower spectrum lights of a reddish hue. Then, 
As you become accustomed to the increased vibration, the colors of light move up the spectrum as your breath becomes calmer and you breathe in orange, then yellow, then green, and, finally, blue. When you reach the violet vibration, your breath is so calm and slow that you seem to be breathing not with just your lungs but with every molecule of your form. Your form is different, as it is a form of light. You are all, light body. You are a ray of light in the center of the Merkaba filled with violet light. You are, the violet light. You are, the Merkaba. You are, the journey to the great central sun. On the view screen before you, see the brilliant glow of the great central sun. The call has sounded, for those who will take heed, to activate their Merkaba and make the return journey into the great central sun. There are thousands and thousands of Merkaba, which have taken this journey. Perhaps you have heard that the great central sun is the Alpha Star, Alcyone, in the star system Pleiades. It has even been said that your sun is the eighth star of the Pleiades. You can ask yourself if it is correct. In response, I ask you to go within yourself, for only your deepest soul memories can understand this story. When we of the higher vibrations communicate with our grounded ones, we must access the language system that is stored within their higher minds so that their physical consciousness can understand our message. Communication with an Elohim, such as myself, is instantaneous and encompasses a meaning that is beyond human words. Therefore, in order for our third dimensional ones to ground our messages in the heart of Gaia, they must first translate our communications into the language system of their environment. Please allow me to show you mental pictures of my explanations so that you can translate these visual images into your human language. As you communicate more and more with your higher selves, you will become adept at this process of translation. For the first picture of our story, see before you a beautiful shining star with seven other stars around it. You are the eighth star and you long to join the others. There is a deep emotional connection to these stars. This emotional connection awakens your desire to play with them, to become one with them, and to release the limitations of time and space so that you rejoin an ancient portion of your beingness. Allow this picture to dim in your mind now. See in front of you a huge vortex of light so strong that you can barely see it. You know only that there is a swirling sensation and that you are connecting with me, Ilya M., as we enter the vortex. Within the vortex we have no form and are free of the consciousness of individuality. We are cosmic specks within the swirling vortex of light. We are very ancient. In fact, we are one of the first segments of light to be cast into the lower frequencies of reality to experience a third dimensional reality. We are the beings of light, which are a portion of the One, expressing itself as a microcosm within the great macrocosm. In our microcosm there is a resonance that lowers the vibration of our light so that it can collect matter. However, the core of this microcosm maintains its true vibration. Gradually, we begin to feel a density that is a totally novel experience. This density is the beginning component of a time-space continuum. This concept of time and space is what begins our experience of separation and limitation. As we grow into that experience of time, certain portion of our cells find a specific space to which we resonate. Our group resonance is still in unity, but there are harmonies, seven of them, that begin to collect separate forms while remaining connected to the group. However, there is one harmony, the eighth, which does remain connected with the seven. We of that eight group, which will become Earth, resonate to a space, far, far away from the others. However, we always remember the seven and begin to structure our experience on that memory, seven rays of light, seven tones of sound, seven days and seven nights. But we are the eighth. We are different, but we are also alike. We choose to experience the great diversities of the third dimension. We gather about us all that is different from our own galaxy and from other galaxies as well. One cosmic day, we will return to our source. When we have learned the third dimensional lesson of unity and diversity, we will return and consciously reunite with the higher vibrations that are our primary resonance. Are you ready now to begin that reunion? 
begin by remembering the Merkaba that surrounds you. See the emanations of the violet, pink and blue light. Hear the tones that are the expressions of each color of light. Imagine that you can perceive the colors above violet, and can hear the tones that correlate with that light. Inside your Merkaba, you are living in a glow of aquamarine. The higher octave of this aquamarine has a sparkling, silver glow. Look again at the violet, pink, and blue. See how the colors change as the frequency of light rises. Can you see the silvery glimmer? Listen closely to the tones and hear how they change when their frequency moves above the human range of hearing. As you follow the rising frequency of each color and tone, they offer you a path, which you may follow, it is a pathway of light and sound. Your Merkaba travels this path into the core of the great central sun. Yes, it is inside the sun that consciousness has chosen to abide. From the core of the central sun, each life form can aid in the radiation of the sun without being exposed to its emanations. It is the emanation of these rays that will be the fuel for your return journey. From within your Merkaba, see the beaming colors of the sun about you and hear the music of the spheres. Relax now and release all thoughts and feelings of your third dimensional world. Simultaneously, maintain an active awareness of its presence so that your physical consciousness can join us on our adventure. Remember, you are not to leave your physical self. Instead, you are to use it as a grounding point, a launching pad, for your Merkaba's interdimensional voyages. Now, you are just outside the great central sun, al -Syani. As you look through the viewscreen of your Merkaba, you see the great central sun and many other Merkaba waiting, just as you are. Feel the essence of the mother, Lady Gaia, for she is here, as well. We are all ready to enter the core of the great central sun. Do you remember how long, long ago, within the now, we all spun off from source to find our time and place in the lower worlds? Now, we have returned and are greatly expanded by our experiences. Yes, dear grounded one, feel that expansion within our consciousness. Feel how our heart radiates to the harmonic resonance of the great central sun. This resonance expands our personal radiance, which is now transpersonal. We have become a unified field of light. Together, we breathe from the center of our heart chakras, which has expanded to encompass our throat chakra and our solar plexus chakra. Take a long breath of light, and feel how your heart chakra expands even more. Now it encompasses your third eye and your navel chakra. With another breath of light, your heart chakra further expands to encompass your crown and your root chakra in a unified field of light. You are a light body living within a living, breathing field of light. Observe how your light is a component of the light of all that is. Hear how your personal tone is a component of the music of the spheres. You resonate to the ever-present here and now. Your Merkaba no longer holds a form, nor do you. You have returned to pure consciousness. You are a speck of light, a microcosm of the macrocosm. Slowly now, return to a form, to my form, the form of an Elohim. Feel me, Ilya M, about you. Feel my wings of light as they embrace you. Feel the movement of my wings, our wings. Feel the lightness of my body, our body. Move through the community of the great central sun, and see the many shapes that the visiting light bodies wish to wear. Every being has chosen their form. Observe the light essence contained within each body. Be aware of how we are all of the oneness here. Simultaneously, you sense your grounded self who is holding your light on Earth's physical plane. As you connect with that expression of yourself, you become accustomed to your new multidimensional body. Expand it further into your sixth dimensional possible self, then your seventh dimensional oversoul. Allow all your parallel realities to enter into your multidimensionality. You are an Ontarian who is seeking to regain your full awareness of your seventh dimensional self. You are Orion and you feel like a lizard. Your skin is rough and your tongue is thin and long. Your mind wants to conquer and possess. Love that portion of yourself. It is merely an experience. You are a being in the Triangulum Galaxy and you have three hearts 
three hands, and three feet. Your mind works only in geometric forms and symbols and there are many portions of yourself within you. You are a group of three. Now, you remember Earth. You are a leaf that has just fallen to the forest floor. You are the rising sun. You are a brook and a roaring river. You are a pebble and a mountain, a flower and a tree. You are all of these and more. You are all, and all is you, because you are on al Sione, the great central sun. Take the memories of all that you have lived and follow your Pleiadian guide, Maitreya, who will lead you into the Violet Temple of Transmutation. Channeled by Suzanne Lee. Suzanne Lee, PhD.blogspot.com.